The first step in running the tool will be to load our sample. Go to the software on the tool, and in the System Control tab, click the Load button to drive the stage to the load position. Next, we need to load the correct chuck for our sample. This chuck is the mask chuck. You should be able to use it for any sample that's larger than 4 inches in diameter. 5 inch and 7 inch photo masks should be used, as well as 6 inch wafers. The chuck here is the wafer and piece chuck. You should use this chuck for any sample that's 4 inches in diameter or smaller. As a reminder, if you'd like to expose pieces that are smaller than whole wafers, you'll need additional training. Open the door. To take out the chuck, we'll need to turn off the vacuum to the chuck. Here we have the chuck vacuum and the substrate vacuum. As the label indicates, turn the vacuum knobs up and right. Carefully lift the chuck and slide it out. Whatever you do, do not flip over the chuck. If you do that, you'll drop the pins on the ground and they'll end up beneath the floor and they'll be lost. If you really want to look on the underside of the chuck, look underneath it instead. To change a pin, take this tool and screw it into the pin. The pins are threaded on the inside. Carefully guide it to the desired chuck, place it in the hole, and unscrew it. And repeat this for the other pins. You don't have to screw the tool in all the way, just enough to grab the pin. I usually screw it in about three or four turns. Here are some common positions to put the pins. Use the nitrogen gun next to the tool to blow dust and debris off your sample. Open the door. Put the chuck back on the stage and turn the knobs up and right. Put the sample on the stage and carefully slide it up against the pins and turn on the substrate vacuum. Also give it a little check to make sure that it's secured to the stage. Here's one last tip for loading your sample. When you put your mask on the chuck, usually it will slide around a bit when you let go. Before you turn on the vacuum, make sure you're holding your sample in place with your left hand. If you don't, your sample might slide around first and your pattern will end up crooked on your photo mask. <laughs> 